Hi guys, welcome back. Let's do it at the African American Film Festival. I'm here with Storm Salter. Please introduce yourself. Yeah, greetings. This is um, Storm Salter. I am the writer director of Sprinter. And excited to be here at the Smithsonian. Set. With a film like this, with this scope, we had you know certain things to deal with, shooting races, etc. But at the end of the day, you know you have a bigger team, you have more things to think about. Um, it gets more complicated, but in the same way, sometimes it gets easier because I know what I want more. I know it fast. I have the tools to achieve it. The film is very Jamaican, and what I do believe, though, that you know what is local. The more local a thing is, sometimes it's the more global it can be because everyone can relate to something about their neighborhood or how they grew up or their space that might seem very culturally specific, but everywhere in the world has culturally specific spaces. Everywhere, anywhere you live, you have a culture within your space. So by making it very Jamaican and very textual and not running away from that, we feel like we're making a film that's a universal film, you know? But also what we want to do is we want to like look at some of the things that people think about Jamaica and Jamaica and some of maybe the stereotypes that might exist and we want to kind of address those and in many instances turn them on their heads. No man can outrun the choices he makes. Often we make films that are about a lot of extremes, a lot of major life and death, and, you know, things that might be a little more violent. Even myself, I've delved in that world as a filmmaker. But what we really want to show is a modern Caribbean family, a real family that, that is, uh, you know, working, educated, you know, dr you know, just getting it, making it all happen, a real regular kind of middle of the road family, the families that are really, in a way, the engines of all of our countries, you know. And by showing something so simple, by showing, you know, it's not like the kid, if he doesn't win the race, he's going to die. No. His wants and, and needs are way more mirroring of just the average person. And for some reason, when you're making a film like this, and especially if you're making films about people of color like this, that are just thinking about more average, natural reality, it's kind of radical in its simplicity, you know what I mean? Because people expect things to be so extreme all the time. And, and even, as I said, visuals coming out of Jamaica has often been extreme. And I think by keeping it more um, in the world of reality, it's a bit more radical. A key. There's no shortcut. Sometimes people, to create drama, you suck out a lot of the color and you turn up the contrast and you punch up the grain. And, and I like that. I appreciate, you know, Australian crime films and these things that go for that, right? Um, however, I always think, as much as we're making global stories, let's lean into the things that are powerful about where we're shooting. Let's lean into the color and the saturation and the richness and the greens and the, the sunset, you know, like... Let's not run away from that to make it more dramatic. Let's not, you know, we don't have to turn it up till it look over the top, but let's embrace the color of the Caribbean. Because that's why we're there and that's what we're doing and that is the world we're living in. We've seen the involvement of African American actors in the film yeah. and that makes it so diasporian. How important was it for you to incorporate them in this film? I just feel like the Jamaican experience, the, Jamaica is so wrapped up in the history and the world of the Americas, you know what I mean? The Jamaican immigrant story and, you know, the fact that there's so many Jamaicans everywhere and there's, there's, they don't lose the connection so we are all super interconnected by our people and by how our people move and where they go to and you know first generation Caribbean kids born here and in other places and so for us like yes it's great to have people like um, David Allen Greer and Lorraine Toussaint these amazing actors that also a lot of people know that's great but also it's great to show Caribbean people within like um, the context of America and, and Caribbean people leaving and living here and supporting families back there and that kind of interchange, you know, so it's, you know, there's probably more Jamaicans outside of Jamaica than in Jamaica. So the diaspora is who we are as well, just as much as we are at home. There's global markets for this, you know what I mean? As much as we want this film to bust in America, and we definitely do, and we're working on that, it's a, it's a world film and we want it to bust everywhere and I feel like even the eagerness the appreciation for Jamaican culture in a kind of a national sense is very strong. I mean, in America it's strong to a degree, but it's strong in places and pockets, you know what I mean? And there's other parts of the world where, for me, said Jamaica, the vibes, right? So we want to get the film in front of those audiences big time. 